Whenever you take over a new program, you know, you first try to establish a culture, uh, especially after, um, you know, losing season. Uh, in football, you have to learn, you know, whether it's a play, let the play go, and if it's a season, let the season go. Um, the coach you were at Sellington as opposed to who you are now? I think I was just a, a kid who loved football and uh, was passionate about it um, and really didn't know much about the game. Uh, we were very talented. The numbers were, were completely different there. Um, you know, when I went to Iowa, I think that's where I really learned how to be a coach. Um, and I'm still making progress every day. Wherever you go, you learn something. And I'm learning from these kids every single day. And it's been, it's been very rewarding. How are you dealing with the, the, the number issue? I mean, Southington, maybe you had two platoons. And I don't think you're going to have that here. How do you, how do you deal with that? You know, it, it's, it, it comes down to efficiency. Uh, you have to be efficient. Uh, you have to um, really get the most out of players because there's not a next guy sometimes. And, and the guys are, you know, really stepping up to the challenge. Did the time away from football change your view your appreciation? Yeah, I, I really think it allowed me to be a little bit more patient. You know, I, I think it, it taught me to slow down and kind of you know, take a step back and, and see things from a different angle. But uh, in terms of the passion, the drive, and, and the motivation, uh, you know, I'm still the same guy. I'm, I'm just excited to work with, you know, different student athletes and, and be back involved in the game. Good. Good. Here we go.